Good morning, everybody. So last week we went up to try to find these plums, but none of them were ripe. They were all still green. So we're gonna go back up there today and pick these plums. Hopefully they'll be ripe. And if they all will come back, we'll make a little tart with them. We're also gonna swing over by the market, get some food for lunch and dinner. So let's go. Almost there. So this is a good sign. There's a whole bunch on the ground. There's a whole bunch of plums on the ground, which means that they're much more ripe. As you can see, if we compare it to the previous video. So here's that plum tree. It's got a lot of plums on it. But I think we're a little bit early because they're all green. I'll show you. If you can see these two plums, the one on the right is green, the one on the left is yellow, it's ripe. But there's very few of these, there's pretty much all like these. The plums in the tree are now nice and yellow. So let's pick some. Oh, it's like super juicy. Skin's a little bit sour, but my food is super sweet. Super juicy. There's at least, at least 10 pounds of, pr of plums in there. We're going back down is way easier. We're just gonna head over to the market now and get some stuff for dinner. So here's all the plums we got. I'm actually gonna let them sit here. I'm gonna leave them out, here, out for a day to just continue to ripen and I'll make the tart tomorrow. So we got a whole bunch of plums. So we're probably gonna make some jam out of them but we're also gonna make a tart. I have about maybe two pounds. I've already washed them off so the first thing we need to do is cut them up. So before you start cutting up your plums, you can go ahead and turn your oven on. And I just, I'm just using a store-bought crust for this. I'm just gonna put it in and pre-cook the crust for about 10 minutes. You can see there's a little line on the top that's up here and that's how we know you know that the seed is kind of oblong so we're going to cut it right in the middle yeah and go right around the seed and then we have this nice little almost like almost half of a plum here and then we're going to do it on the other side. And we have this. So we have these two. So these we'll put in our bowl. And we'll do that to the rest of these. They just put Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm So there it is, we're done. Daddy, you can look at it. Yeah, hold on, hold on. So this is the seeds, the leftover seeds, and then we got this much in plum halves. So that's plenty to make our pie. These plums are gonna give off a lot of juice. I'm gonna take this crust and I'm just gonna put some almond flour, or, you know, ground up almonds, almond powder, whatever you call it. My 
tart. I take my plums and start putting them in. Nice and tight. Well, you know, you make a mess over there. Then you're gonna put about. It's soft. Oh, it's really pie. Pie. That much sugar on it? Slip this into a 375, 400 degree oven. Get out of the boy. Go spackle any holes you have in any walls. Come back in 20 minutes. While I'm waiting for this pie to cook, I'm fixing this wall. And so I took the broken parts off and it's crazy. I was wondering, I didn't know what was the wall was made out of, but now that I'm in it, I can see it's made out of like a terracotta, tot, like terracotta brick type, hollow brick type things. So anyways, you can also see this, this anchored bolt that I put in the wall. Here's what I'm doing with the rest of them. I'm going to make some jam. I just threw them in whole. I'll take the seeds out later. And here's the pie. I let it go for about five extra minutes, maybe 25 minutes, because I had forgotten to put that butter in, so I went and added like five minutes into to the cooking, I added it. So, anyways, I wanted to make sure that it got all mixed around in there and everything. So, there we go.